Today we're going to go over the similarities and differences of all of these masonry products. And I'm going to try and explain it in a way that you can easily understand. Here we have a bag of what's called Portland cement. Now the term cement often gets confused with the term mortar and often gets confused with the term concrete. Although those are three completely different materials. The term Portland comes from the inventor. When he invented cement, he thought that it reminded him of the stones that are found in Portland, England. And the term Portland has stuck through all these years. Portland cement to the construction industry is what flour is to the cooking industry. Think of all the things that we can make with flour. We can make pizza dough. We can make pancakes and waffles and muffins and biscuits. We can make spaghetti all with flour. What can we make with Portland cement? We can make mortar with Portland cement. We can make concrete with Portland cement. We can make what's called thin set for tile work. We can make stucco and plaster all with Portland cement. Rarely are you going to use the ingredient of Portland cement by itself. Matter of fact, I can only think of one application where we will mix Portland cement and water. How many applications are there where we mix just flour and water? Not many, I can't think of any. These are ingredients that are used in making many different things. Here we have a bag of what's called light masonry cement. The term light refers to the color that the product takes on after it cures. Well, if this is masonry cement, what do we use Portland cement for? This is where the confusion starts. They could have called this product anything they wanted to, and they decided to call it masonry cement. When Portland cement was already developed. Well, what do we use masonry cement for? that we wouldn't use Portland cement for. Well, let's understand what's in this bag. In short, there's a combination of two ingredients in this bag. It's a combination of Portland cement and what's called lime. Well, what are we gonna use masonry cement for? We're gonna use it to make mortar. We're gonna use it to make Thin set, we're gonna use it to make stucco. Well, what aren't we gonna use masonry cement for? We're not gonna use masonry cement to make concrete. Another term that gets confused with cement and mortar. Concrete doesn't have the ingredient of lime in it. And just stick with me, we'll get to lime in just a minute. Well, what is masonry cement tied to in, let's say, the cooking world? In the cooking world, it's similar to bisquick. What are we gonna make with bisquick? We're gonna make pancakes. Hey, we can still do that with Portland cement. Waffles, still do that with Portland cement. We can make muffins. And I think we can make cake. What aren't we going to make with Bisquick? We're not going to make spaghetti noodles unless you want super spongy, nasty spaghetti. We're not going to use Bisquick to make spaghetti. We sort of got to get right to the product of lime so we understand more of what's in masonry cement. Here we have a bag of what's called lime. Well, aren't limes green? Yeah, but we're not talking about that kind of lime. This is talking about limestone that has been processed 
by the way of pulverizing and adding water and heating up, we get this white powder that when combined with Portland cement, we get masonry cement. Well, why would we add lime to Portland cement? The product that's made with masonry cement is going to have an increased workability to it, whether we're making mortar for brickwork or blockwork or thin set or stucco, it's going to hold water better. It's going to have a longer time of workability and the ingredients that we use for mortar and stucco aren't going to separate as easily. We use lime. The combination of lime and Portland cement makes masonry cement. Well, what is lime compared to in the cooking world? pretty much just like baking powder in the cooking world. We're going to use baking powder when we're making muffins, cake, and bread. We're not going to use baking powder when we're making homemade spaghetti. Again, that's going to lead to spongy, nasty spaghetti. Lime is just an ingredient rarely used by itself, just like baking powder, rarely used by itself in a recipe. Here we have a bag of concrete, high strength concrete mix. Just add water. Well, what is in this bag? There's a little bit of confusion right on the cover of this bag. This says Quickcrete. Quickcrete is a name brand. It's not a product. In this bag, we have three ingredients. We have Portland cement, the very first thing that we went over. We have sand. This is sort of a special type of sand. This is actually called concrete sand. The pieces of sand in here are a little big, chunky, we'll say, small pebbles. There's also stone in this bag, crushed stone more specifically. In this bag, there's going to be small, what's called quarter inch crushed stone, or sometimes referred to as chip stone. We can also use bigger stone to make concrete. Concrete is the combination of Portland cement, sand, and stone. There's no lime in concrete. Well, what is concrete similar to in the cooking world? Similar to spaghetti. Just like there's no baking powder in spaghetti. We don't want spongy spaghetti. Here we have two bags of mortar mix, both found at the same store. This says mortar mix. This says blended mason mix. Just add water. Just add water. Well, what's the difference between these two besides the coloring of the bag on the outside? Let's look at what's inside the bag. Inside this bag, there is Portland cement, lime, and sand. Only this time, the sand is much finer, similar to the sand that you're going to find at the beach. Well, how is this bag different from this bag? This bag says Quickcrete. Isn't this concrete? No, remember, Quickcrete is a name brand. That adds to confusion with concrete. How are these two bags different? This makes mortar. This makes mortar. There's different types of mortars. And they're classified by how strong they are. Well, let's pretend that this mix is just like pancake mix. 
We can have buttermilk pancake mix. Or we can have normal pancake mix. Just add water. What do you want? All the ingredients are already in these bags. All the ingredients are already in these boxes. A different combination of ingredients gets a different classification of mortar. If you're still confused about what product you need, just look at the bag. It's gonna tell you what you can do with what's inside this bag. This is a bag of concrete. We can set posts, pour sidewalks, we can do steps, just like this young guy is doing. He's pouring a concrete step using concrete mix. Let's look closer at this bag of mortar. What do we use mortar for? We use it to lay brick and lay block. I don't know why this guy is standing behind the wall laying brick, what's called overhand, over the wall. But you know what? This is a good representation of a bricklayer. Let the young guys do the concrete work. The older guys with the receding hairline, they're going to do the brickwork. One final run through of these different masonry products and how they work together. Remember, Portland cement is the most versatile masonry construction material, just like flour is to the cooking world. We use flour in biscuit. We use flour in the making of spaghetti. We use flour in the making of different premixes for different types of pancakes. We use Portland cement is an ingredient in masonry cement. Portland cement is used in making concrete. Portland cement can be used in making different mortar types. Masonry cement is a combination of Portland cement and lime. Just like Bisquick is a combination of flour and baking powder. We use Bisquick or that premix, we can make different pancake mixes with Bisquick. We can make different mortar types with masonry cement. We're not going to make spaghetti with Bisquick. That's going to make some nasty spaghetti. We're not going to make concrete with masonry cement. That's going to make for weak concrete. Remember, there's no lime in concrete. Lime is an ingredient in masonry cement. It's combined with Portland cement. Concrete is a mixture of Portland cement, sand, and stone. Mortar mixes are composed of Portland cement, lime, and sand. No stone in mortar mixes. No lime in concrete mixes. I hope this helps you in your understanding of these masonry materials. Tying it to food sort of helps me because I like food. Mortar, concrete, mortar, concrete, concrete. This layering, this coating, Stucco, concrete, mortar, concrete, booger, mortar, concrete, mortar, concrete, mortar. These pavers right here are actually made of concrete, colored concrete. This stuff that tile is applied with, it's called thin set, stucco. Mortar. I hope this video helped you out a little bit in understanding some masonry products. Thanks for watching. We're going to make pancakes. Hey, we can still do that with Portland cement.